Lesson 9, factorization, monic trinomials. We have to factorize the following. <clears throat> now, in this case here, it's a monic because you've got a, there's a 1 in front of the x squared. Non-monic means when there's a, not a 1. So what we'll do here is we look at this number, these two numbers, the 3, and we say what two numbers multiply together to give me 3, this number, and add up to give me 4. That's a fairly easy one, seeing 3 is a prime number anyhow, so it's only 3 and 1. And it's a good idea to write this down, so you double check this, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, we know we're right. So all we have to do now is write down x plus 3 times x plus 1. The order doesn't matter. You can have x plus 1 times x plus 3. Same thing. Now this one, what two numbers multiply together to give negative 10 and add up to give negative 9? A little bit harder because 10 is not a prime number. So we could look at, uh, if we took, say, uh, 5 and 2, we we're not going to go anywhere near 9. But we take the obvious one, minus 10 and 1. That's really important. You don't get the signs back to front. That right, 10 and negative 1. And that's why you have this. Because minus 10 times 1 is minus 10, and minus 10 plus 1 is minus 9. So it just becomes x minus 10, x plus 1. The mistake students make is that they get the two numbers and they get the, the sign round the wrong way. So be very, very careful. This is your little insurance policy, so you won't make any mistakes. All right, there's two more. If you think you've got the idea, just pause the video and have a go yourself. Right, now we say what two numbers? Multiply to give negative 12 and add up to give 1 because that's a understood 1 in front of the x there. Now this will be well 4 and minus 3 are the ones 4 and minus 3 4 and minus 3. If you put minus 4 and 3 by mistake you would have seen you would have got negative 1 not a positive 1 and that just becomes x plus 4 and x minus 3. Okay, this one, what two numbers multiply together to give me 8 and add up to give negative 6. Now here, two numbers will be negative 2 and negative 4 because negative 2 times negative 4 gives me the positive 8, but negative 2 plus negative 4 gives negative 6. So that becomes x minus 2 times x minus 4. Or the other way around, x minus 4 times x minus 2. It doesn't make any difference. Same with this one up here.